I'm an American standing in Moscow, Russia with this guy who you know, Pavel, and someone you can't see, but you'll know soon enough. We are with Russian men, and these two are Russian men, and they are holding guns. I've got weapons all around me and military gear. Doing military training. What do you think about that? Find out right now. First of all, for the YouTube algorithms, this is Airsoft, it's a game. Just in case, I know how y'all work. <laughs> also, it'll be far-fetched to call this military training, but there is some aspects to it that do help, like team play, being able to use the radio, and also understanding where everything goes and, you know, getting used to everything so it's like second nature. Can we call it combat training? For my title. You can do whatever you want, it's your title. Russian combat training? Will that get me in trouble? I have no idea. Well, I did guns in Russia already. So. Okay. Well, this is airsoft in Russia. How about that? No, no, not very interesting. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. This is military training in Russia. Russian combat training with Stan and Pavel. What is that for, Pavel? Destroy tanks. Pistols with silencers. I can't say that on your show. I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. <laughs> can, you can bleep it out. Okay, so. Jeez. You got to control everything. You said mine was heavy? Hold this. Is Russia a scary place? What is that, Stan? That's an AK. It's hooking me up. Is Moscow what you thought it was, Papa? What are we doing? What's with Running and shooting. You're getting your weapon ready? Wilder uh, cool. No, you look kind of stupid, to be honest. I think you just offended the algorithm. Pull off the bad guys. <laughs> Pull the bad guys. So we are going up to the second floor. And where will you be? I'll be inside one of the buildings shooting at you. Okay, so Russia is more fun. <laughs> and more dangerous. Do not forget that. You ready? Safety's off. And mask on. Mask on. We need your... We need your balls. <laughs> Where are my balls? Is that because it's got too much power and you could hurt yourself? Well, you can hurt other people. Huh? What did he say? Stan is suited up. Looks like you have a little sidearm as well. So Stan, do you want me to ask you some difficult, uh, liberal, hateful questions for all those people that are thinking, what the heck are we doing? Yeah, sure. These guys are disgusting and inappropriate. Sure. sure. Think about what I've been showing you. Do Russian people look like people in your city? So what about people that say, well, these guys are training like crazy. Why aren't they on the front? Careful, Pavel. What about the station? Huh? What about situation? Uh, what about it? I don't know. There's guys in, the in there. <laughs> what? He said the American bloggers with us. <laughs> in Russian, we do have the light side and the, and the dark side. The dark side is the American uniforms or European uniforms. The light side is uh, the Russian uniform. You were born in the Soviet Union as a child. You were taken to live in Canada. Then you worked as an adult all over the world. 
How did you discover coming back to Russia was gonna be a good thing? I have bought a GoPro, first time in my life. I'm going to strap it to my head to make this a more interesting video. I can't hold a camera and a weapon at the same time. Yeah, that. All right, Pavel, so pretend I know nothing because I know nothing. Where are we? What is this? What are we doing? Pavel Kabanov again. Dude, what's up, man? What's going on? You look great. Thank you. Welcome you got a cigar? Yep. And you dress like a guy who knows what he's doing apparently not you'll like see. me well no you'll see beginner's luck how about that well before you get here the mags have to be unloaded right and uh not not the balls don't have to be taken out of the mag but the mag has to be in your pocket or somewhere like that and before you even enter this field from that side you have to take one shot out after you unload the mag to make sure there's nothing in in the weapon so you don't hurt anyone Ah, okay, so they have safety yeah, see, you, you have, regulations uh, here. The guy with the rock on his head, that's like an Israeli army mock-up or uniform. Huh. So you're going to see people most likely with American uniforms, Russian uniforms. There's some German uniform guys running around. Cosplay. Uh-huh. So this is like, was this was built? Oh, this is the office. Yeah, you can call it that. Huh. Okay, so, so is this building built just for this? Because it looks a bit sloppily made, which is fine. It, it serves its purpose, right? I have no idea. No, it's just an abandoned bridge. Abandoned? Okay. No, but this is, this but is it, actually it, the, the, the field actually belongs to uh, one of the training centers. We need some extra stuff for you since my brother isn't coming. He, he wanted to come and then his wife was like, no, I need help with the baby. My wife said the same thing and I was like, sorry, I'm going anyway. Do you want that or do you want something better? Which one do you want? Uh, the bigger one looks better. That one? Yeah, I guess so. Right. Is that to keep me from being hurt or to no, camouflage no. me? No, no, that's to have your... To carry my, um, my magazines, my, my, my plastic BBs. So I've rented a suit. Giant size, Frankenstein size, still not big enough. Stan's helping me out here. It's turning me into a man. <laughs> airsaw, a little bit of airsaw is going to turn you into a man? I don't know. Have you boy before? Well, I, I have hiked the Grand Canyon three times. So, I'm sort of a man. Hey, time to fix some things. Pavel, are you ready? Nope. Are you feeling extra manly now? That you have your <laughs> camouflage uh, clothes on? Just the same. As always. And why am I? No, I what I, is my need to exist? I ask you, who are you? And I ask myself, where am I? Well, we are in Moscow, on the outskirts, on a field waiting to play some airsoft, which is an actual sport legally in Russia. And right now, trying to fix my weapon. Is there a front or a back? Okay, I see, I see the tag. Now you say legally, so I don't, I'm completely ignorant of this. So is, that, is this something that some people think is not safe? No, 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 it, it's just, um, it is an official it is an official sport here and here in russia the uh laws regarding the sport or the power that your rifles can can be and what color they can be are different they're a lot more relaxed for example in some european countries they can't be your weapons can't be more than one jewel like in italy or portugal or greece i think mm -hmm. uh, in portugal the only two colors you can paint your weapons are like bright r orange or bright red whereas here you can paint them whatever you want in any camo whatsoever and the laws are three jewels is max for sniper rifles um bolt action mm -hmm. uh 2.25 jewels is max for automatic weapons 
and uh, 1.5 or 1.6, basically uh, below 120 ms meters a second, is for indoor. So, so okay. So what you're saying is Russia is more fun. Uh, when it comes to airsoft, it may it may be uh, well. You do have a lot more access to parts in the states, um, and this the sport in the states has been it's it's an older sport for the states. In Russia, it's it's quite old, but it didn't gain its popularity until maybe ten years ago, I believe. It's more fun than in Europe. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> now, seriously, Pavel was telling me that this was originally airsoft was like a Japanese military training exercise that has caught on across the world. Do you know about that? I do not know about that. The airsoft was initially designed in Japan for combat training and that's it. What the heck are you wearing? I'm, this is all I could find that I was willing to destroy. Well, you know what's going to happen, right? Within like five minutes. I'm going to be soaking wet. You're going to be soaking wet. Well, I did bring another pair in case you told me that. Um, but they're like the shoes that I I wear around town in Moscow. But they are leather. Uh -huh. And they are sealed. So what do you think? Think I should change? Well, it's not really about you're gonna you're gonna end up wearing them anyway. Because those those that you have. Well, one step in a puddle in two and minutes that, and I'm done. And those are soaked, yes. Yeah. And now it has taken the world by storm. Yeah. For weekend warriors to have fun. But in Japan, the muzzle velocity of bullets is limited to nine, 90 meters per, sec per second. And that's it. You cannot use more. Uh, more force, more joules energy. And in Russia? It depends. <laughs> we will agree. But I think in Russia no one plays with the uh, stock power. What does that mean? Everything's modified and, yeah. and different things? Yeah, plus uh, they tend to use Chinese and Taiwanese guns that already more power powerful than the Japanese versions. So how are these shoes, Sam? Is this better? Oh yeah, this will be yours for the day. This is Chinese made, Sima. Uh -huh. And that's also Chinese made from the province of Taiwan. Since so that's the province yours. of Taiwan, one China policy. Blah, this blah, is blah. yours and this yep. is mine. Yeah, so basically that's gonna be yours. You're gonna have five extra mags or five mags in general. It already has a battery in it. Uh-huh and have fun so you say ak now i know an ak is to being a real weapon so what i'm guessing is what you mean is these are modeled after real weapons yeah and turned into airsoft guns the yeah so basically they look like they are real weapons they in some way they act like real weapons they mm -hmm. kind of feel like depending on how much money you want to spend like real weapons but obviously right. they fire six millimeter bbs they don't fire actual live rounds you excited <laughs> First time for the 10 years. It's an abandoned village uh, that was not constructed fully. And now this is the legal airsoft club. So people make fun. Those are snipers. Wow. What did he say? Help them to roll stuff. I'm a journalist, I can't get involved. And you've got your face ready also, I see. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time to get that on? Or, or are we about to go? No, no, we're about to go. Because it looks a bit uncomfortable. Like you wouldn't want to have that on any longer than you need to. This here is a bolt action rifle, so there's no battery needed. Oh, wow. You just operate with the... Uh, the bolt basically yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's fun I, yeah. I like it it might not be as practical nowadays but it's cool well this thing here yeah uh i can probably get score more points with this than i could with that because this is a lot more powerful and it it's a lot more accurate i was thinking that it, it's not fast enough to keep you alive oh no 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 in Trust the gameplay it's, it's good the yellow means that if someone is within like a five to ten meter range uh -huh. you can't shoot them at least if you do don't aim at the head, 
shouldn't right, like, right, 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 right. you know, the legs. Interesting. So you are like pumping the magazine, which looks like a typical magazine, mm -hmm. full of plastic BBs. Yeah. Wow. And I appreciate the gloves you let me borrow, especially the hole, because it'll allow me to turn the camera on and off. Oh, well, that's good. But <laughs> the main use for those is, uh, you know, the pain that you get from getting strapped right, right, in the right, knuckle. Right, right. Yeah, it's good. The fingers are thin enough so you could still operate a trigger. Mm -hmm. Weapon hits don't count. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so if it hits your body, it counts. If it hits your gun, it doesn't count. Hi. Get over. Pavel, we can't see your face. That's no good for a video. You gotta look cool in the video. Okay, so once you've entered here, you have to remove the mag and shoot a couple of times in the woods. Uh huh. Down, to make sure the gun is entirely empty and safe. Ah. Okay, before you come out. Yeah. You remove the mag and then you squeeze the trigger a few times. Yep. They had me do that on the shooting range also. Looks like the guys are tagging themselves to decide what team they're on, I'm guessing. And it looks like I am green. The defenders sitting in their homes, they are taking their position. In, in these structures. Whoa, that is heavy. Nice, man. Now, now you can uh, insert the mag. Okay, cool. All right. Your mag is full. Is this how you... Uh -huh, that way, and then. Uh -huh. And now I need to be very careful not to put my finger in there. I'm ready. And keep the gun down. Yeah, and all the way down is single shot, single fire. Here, it's automatic fire. Oh wow! Okay. And you do you do go through them quite quickly. So so when it's time, I, I, I want to push down. Yeah. And ideally, I want to take careful aim. Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, because they're out of uh, white, we're green, and green is what uh, the uh, country next door, that's what they, they put. So, Oh, really? Dear subscribers, it's not because of uh, what you think it's because, it's because white tape is really hard to get, so they use green tape. And your superhero name is Agent Kremla? Uh, Agent Kremla. Agent Kremla, which means Agent of the, the Castle Kingdom? Oh, no, of the Kremlin. So know? Kremlin as a representative of, as a representative well, yeah, Russia. because you're uh, being a YouTuber who's in Russia, you're automatically an agent of the Kremlin. And me as a YouTuber who's in Russia, I'm automatically an agent of the Kremlin. So just so that people understand, the idea behind this particular mission is that there's a couple of buildings that the uh, defense is sitting in. Uh -huh. We have to clear those buildings out. They have one life, we have unlimited lives. And we have to, once you're hit, you come back here, you turn around and you go back out. Uh-huh, the upper button, not the same. Try to look just exactly like you. No, Where are they? We need to Where are they? Tilt it a bit down. Like this, I think. So these are just regular Russian guys that like to have a weekend sport, just like any other sport, yeah. like Americans on a softball team. Yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, team that always wears American BDUs is uh, not here today. They... Why is that unfortunate? What do you mean? That they're not here. Well, because I think it would have been good for your blog. Oh, okay. okay. To see because to people show people in American costume. Uh, yeah, because uh, to see that we Russians are not going to beat the crap out of them for wearing, because they have American flags, they have a full like helmet, oh, full okay, gear, okay, everything. Okay, okay, okay. So it's almost like serious cosplay. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. They are the American team. Yeah. But they're treated well. Yeah. They're not yeah. like no, no, nobody cares. So Pavel, what should I do now? You can test your gun before we're starting. On the screen table. Yeah, on the green table, all the way. Tires. Okay. Aim it. And see if you can hit them. So single shot. <laughs> My finger is not in the trigger yet, guys. I'm just supposed to hit the tires? Why not? Try. Well, how would I know if I hit them? You will see the bullet. <laughs> so that was not single shot. I'm agree. Okay. I see it flying towards the tire and then I don't see anything else because I'm 49 probably. Your glasses have to be... Put this on top of your glasses. 
or move them back because okay. you have way too much space. Something could get in there. Of course. So what would you say to people that think this is inappropriate to be doing military training? That's their problem. During uh, SMO. That's their psychological problem. Okay, and they cool. they should treat it by themselves. <laughs> okay. I'm following Stan, my fingers off the trigger. Hopefully Pavel's behind me. Seems a little bit ridiculous because we are out in the open. Jeez, that is loud. That was a loud shot. Yeah, that's a grenade. They're in the other two buildings. So. Whew. What do you mean grenade? What are you talking about? You can use grenades. How does oh. that work? They make a loud bang and everything within five meters is dead. Ugh. Was it like a plastic ball that explodes? Yeah. Huh. Looks like we lost Pavel. Okay, so, see that building? Yeah. That one, and the one behind it. That's the buildings I get, they're guarding. They're gonna be second floor, first floor, and basement. So the last two buildings on the corner. Yeah, so, we can safely cross go behind that building, behind it. Or we can go into that one, and lay some covering fire for the other team. Okay. So, you, you go ahead and roam around if you want, but I need to go into that building and lay down covering fire. So I should break off from you for a while? Up to you if you want. I'm, I'm willing to get shot. All right. In fact, I'm expecting okay. to die. Whew. All right. Whoa. Okay, somebody's shooting at this house. Okay, that's another. That's a grenade, I guess. Pavel! I recognize that goofy face covering anywhere. You didn't shoot it. So you're still alive. You too. <laughs> Jeez. You got hit? Yeah. Okay, so I guess I should try to shoot the person for you. I don't see anybody. Are you ready? I guess so. So go on. Oh, his hand's up. 
I guess you got them. We'll go forward. Yeah? Yeah. We can go forward? Yeah. Как зовут? Todor. Todor? Yes. My nickname is Roman. Oh, nice to meet you, Roman. Looks like we're stuck behind a house, and anyone who comes around this house gets hit. This guy's arms are uncovered. Okay, I'm gonna move forward. Oh, this guy's doing a grenade. Or smoke. That's smoke screen? Yep. As you, as you can see, most people in Russia understand English. Anyone here? Yeah? yeah, there's someone in that house for sure. Oh. They just threw a grenade in there. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, the, the pellets are coming across right here where my shadow is. Pavel! What's up, man? Have you been hit yet? No, but I hit one. Me neither. I haven't hit anyone though. Even though it's just a game, I still have this feeling inside like to be careful. You know? This is the point. Except for the, the sound of the pellets and the fact that no one's actually hurt. It's all pretty authentic, it seems. Whoa! So is that the grenade? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Wow. Huh. Careful, Paul. Pavel is going in. There's some fire there. Oh wow, that is dangerous. It's a hole in the floor. Oh shoot, and it's wide open too. Gosh darn it, that is loud. That was the second floor though. Okay, so that guy's on my side. Yeah, Zaloni, Zaloni. American, it's Zaloni, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the second floor? Yeah, I think the second floor is somebody. But uh, another person said that he killed. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> It's clean. We killed because of the grenade. Okay, so Pavel is dead. I'm not because I was on the first floor. Just look for gillies. Look for what? Look for what? Gilly. 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 I don't know how it should it pronounce in English. Huh. You know the guys which are dressed uh, like grass. Oh, oh, snipers. Okay, yeah. We call uh, their custom gilly. Gilly. 